this flag. And how cute is that? I love it. Let me see yours, Pipey. Y'all, how sweet. Here, grab it. There you go. Now put this one. <laughs> put this one. Put it in the Benny then. Good afternoon, guys. So it is about 2.40 ish. Um, the kids are about to get off of the bus. Aiden has had an awesome day. His teacher kind of texts me off and on throughout the day. She'll send me pictures or she'll send me updates on him. And he's doing really, really well. And I am super excited for him. This morning, you guys, it was so cute. It was this, oh my goodness. This kid is so excited for school. And it's kind of blowing my mind because I did not think he was gonna be this excited. I didn't think he was gonna do this well. Um, so he loves his little like backpack. Um, and I don't know, I think it's maybe, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the weight of it, which makes me realize the, like him enjoying the weight of the backpack is making me want to try a weighted vest again, um, or a weighted blanket. So I might actually pull out his weighted blanket and see if he will use it. You know, Aiden changes, like things with Aiden changes so much, like week to week, sometimes day by day, like he likes something one week, the next week he doesn't. So anyway, he got on the bus and uh, he had his little backpack and the, the aide goes to try to take it off of him, you know, just to sit him down and buckle him up. And he goes, no, no, no. <laughs> and it was the cutest thing. And I don't know if he was saying it, like it sounded like he was saying it appropriately. Like, no, don't take my backpack. Um, I don't know if he was or not, but it was still super cute. Um, and he sat down and she buckled him up and he did awesome and yeah, and Narkees got to go back to school today. I haven't vlogged in a few days, you guys. Narkees has been home sick. Um, I noticed him getting sick the day before. Hang on, buddy, hang on. Well, Jack is not happy. I noticed him kind of starting to not feel great the day before his birthday party, but he wasn't running a fever. Like there was no fever, there was no signs of illness other than like a runny nose, and he said his throat was a little bit scratchy. Um, so we just like managed that with like over-the-counter stuff. Um, but the last few days he just has not been feeling good and he spiked a fever that kept him out of school. But he's okay now. Yesterday he didn't run a fever at all. I kept him home just as a precaution and he's back today. His teacher says he is a little bit listless, like he's a little tired, which is understandable, but he's excited to be back and he's doing a lot better. <sighs> the last two days y'all, I've just been hanging out with Narkees and I haven't been feeling too great myself. I have been swapping over like swapping medications or whatever from my doctor and it's just kind of made me feel wonky but I feel really good today actually so I think the swap has been good it's just taken my body a while to like be like what is going on anyway I'm gonna go get kiddos off of the bus y'all our garbage truck is like going through the neighborhood and he's like honking his horn and not the garbage truck the recycling truck and he's like stopping at houses and like honking his horn I don't know maybe he's trying to remind people to bring out their recycle I don't know it was weird. I don't think I've ever seen him do that before. Why am I putting this back on the table? Oh my goodness. <sighs> Piper left her Pop-Tart wrapper on the table this morning. Yeah, you're gonna color. Oops. Oops. Can I play the Papa? No. He just has to color, dude. <laughs> you got some crackers? Yeah. Or are you not hungry? Hunger. You are hungry? Okay, hang on. Oh no, no, Pinter. You can draw a picture. You're good at drawing pictures. Mama Pinter. Huh? Mama, Mama Pinter. You do a picture. Oh no, no, I hate how. You do too. You're so smart. Mama, Mama Pinter. This. Oh no, no. You don't know what to draw? Is that what you're saying? Why don't you draw a tree or a castle or Narkees at school? You want to draw yeah. a picture of Narkees at school? Picture. Picture. Are you saying picture? Yeah. Yeah. You draw a picture. How? And this. With your crayons. What do you mean, how? And then the, the picture. No, I'm not doing the picture. You do the picture. Pincha. Are you saying something other than picture? I don't know what you're saying. Picture? Yeah. Draw a picture, buddy. And how? I don't know how. <laughs> you do too know how. how. You draw beautiful pictures all the time. What are you wanting to know? 
Do you want to do a square so you can have a house? Yeah. Do a square. You know how to do a square. I don't know how. You do too. There. Add on to it. There's a house. Okay, you draw the rest, okay? Okay. Girls. Oh, and the lighting's messed up. So the girls just got home from school and they did some cards for daddy I for veterans all day this. i drew this flag and how I cute everything. is that i love it let me see yours pipey y'all how sweet that is the cutest thing daddy is gonna love it <laughs> and and i drew daddy with like not not the original like nate marines because he was in the marines the marine thing i didn't do that because mm -hmm. he because he, he's not in it anymore um I don't really remember why, but he I know I, I know it's up in my He he was injured and he got something called an honorable discharge. No, you look. What is that? A ladybug. It's a girl. Ladybug. It's a girl. I and I drew this. Actually, like, I think that's a Japanese beetle. American flag. I see that. Colors. So yeah, it's and lovely. Piper me. Next. Yours is beautiful too, Piper. And then I said thank you, Dad. From Zoe to Dad, veterans. Nice. Can I didn't have enough time to to spell rule right here. Uh huh. Rules. Rules. Why? Oh, rules like veterans like, rule. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's they nice. They actually do. Aiden, come on. Mommy, can I calm oh, down and play for a little while before I do my really long homework? You have a lot of homework. Yeah, you can. can show you? you can play for a little bit. Y'all, Aiden took his backpack off and his sweater off. What's wrong? Sit down. Let's take your shoes off and then I'll get you a snack. I don't know where my hammer went. Uh oh. It was right in my backpack. You take your shoes off. And I got my progress report and I got bees. <gasps> you got bees? Good job. Let me show you. <coughs> yeah, come up here, bud. My teacher said it's supposed to be up here. BB. Yeah, I don't want to show the camera here. Letter grade. Woohoo! Give me five. That is awesome. Y'all, Zoe has worked so hard to bring up her grades. Put it in the bin, buddy. Put your shoe in the bin. Right Very good. Put the shoe in there. Rub it. There you go. Now put this one. Put this in. Put it in the bin, Aiden. A coin. Yeah, that's a candy corn. He did it. He just, he just put his shoes Yay, in. Yay, Aiden. Can you clap? Can you clap? Clap. See if he'll do it. Clap, Aiden. He's like, nope, mom, I'm tired. Mama, I want to go play. <laughs> yes, no keys, go party. <laughs> he didn't heard me in here vlogging, and he's like, I need cuddles. <laughs> so he came in here. He's so sweet. Y'all, he's picking up weight again. I'm so excited. I haven't weighed him, but I can just tell he's way heavier um, than he was in the last couple of months. Um, we've really, really upped his calorie intake and the, um, frequency of his snacks and he's been doing a lot better and he goes through like different periods where his rumination's really bad and he'll be like actually spitting it out and then he goes through periods where he's not spitting it out and he kind of starts to do a little bit better. Um, and probably the last three weeks he started doing a lot better and he hasn't been actually spitting out his food. Um, I have no idea why. I wish I knew like what the triggers were for it and all that kind of stuff. But he's definitely bulking up again, which is really good. I'm so excited. Okay guys. Well, this room is so quiet. It actually feels weird to talk right now. Like you can hear a pen drop. So they're letting us wait back here, which is really good. Aiden has had his first scan done, and he's doing really good so far. He's rocking it. Um, he's got some of his toys, and we've been listening to music, and he's had no problems. Um, I think the hardest part about this scan is just the time. Like, it's just a very lengthy process. Um, it can take up to four hours, so uh, we're going to make it, though. 45 minutes down, huh, buddy? <laughs> he's really doing well um, he was super overwhelmed in the waiting room and he was crying and he was having a fit um, but when they since he's been back here he's been totally fine so they're being very sweet and accommodating and y'all he laid on the table great like they had to lay him across here he did awesome 
we didn't even really have to hold him down. because there's like people right out in the hallway and they've totally got the door like wide open so <sighs> he's doing great like I'm kind of surprised he's doing way way better than he did last time he's just over there playing he really likes the uh saw this like it's like a really thick cushion on the table and he really loves that I really haven't had any problems with him being so good. They brought him a warm blanket. He just had his second scan. Y'all, he's doing amazing. Doing so good. I'm proud of you, Aiden. They said he could just hang out there on my bed if he wanted to, and he seems to like it. Woo! Okay. All right, guys. Made it! He did really amazing. I mean, I literally can't even believe he did so good um he had one little like not even really like a tantrum he was just kind of fussing and getting overwhelmed in the beginning like when we were in the lobby um but after they brought us back for nearly four hours you guys he did amazing we got here at 7 30 and it's 11 15 now so we've been here a while but it's okay he did awesome and i think we're gonna go grab some lunch pick up baby jack and head home okay so my house is super cold so excuse this um so as of right now i asked you guys on facebook if you guys would ask some questions whatever i thought i would do a small q a at the end of this vlog um we're constantly getting like newer subscribers you all i'm taking this off i look about half ridiculous we're constantly getting new subscribers and i just kind of like to do q a's every now and then if i can so i thought i would throw in q a at the end of this vlog Okay, so as of right now, I have 45 um, questions. So I am not going to give like details. I'm just going to go through them and answer as short and as quickly as possible. Um, I don't know if I'll get through all of them because I don't want this video to be crazy, crazy long, um, but I am going to answer the ones that I can. Okay, so Emma asks, how are the kids doing in school and how old are the kids? Um, they are doing awesome in school and Narkees is 14, Aiden is 10, Zoe is 9, Piper is 6, and Jack is 5 months old. Um, Zachary asks, are you guys, hang on, yeah, are you guys going to try to teach Narkees how to read? Yes, in time when he is ready for that step, we will definitely work with that. Um, Gabby asks, do the kids have IEPs? Yes. Three out of the five have IEPs, Zoe, Narkees, and Aiden. And Aiden. Um, let's see. Kristen, do y'all have any special Christmas traditions? I love hearing what other families do. We, <laughs> do you consider Elf on the Shelf a tradition? I don't know. Honestly, I, I kind of wish I had never started the Elf on the Shelf tradition because the kids remember it and now every year I'm like bound to doing it. <laughs> so I guess we do Elf on the Shelf. Um, but our Elf does not move every single night because... 25 days you guys I get it, it no <laughs> our elf does not move every night but we do elf on the shelf um let's see Lindsay asks can you speak more in their language and translate a few things for us I love learning new words and does Narkees still speak the language okay so what some of you guys may not understand when you do hear me speaking Ukrainian is that I don't really speak Ukrainian well <laughs> when I'm speaking to Aiden in Ukrainian it's very like broken fragmented words um i'm not speaking in complete sentences i don't know the language i'm definitely not even close to fluent i know a few words um enough to communicate with aiden so i can tell you a few that i say <laughs> uh, let's see karitsa is chicken um sofietka means napkin or cloth um ulitsa is street um let's see What's another one? Devai, that means do it. Um, Ushel means all done. Um, 
let's see, Pashli, that means let's go. Uh, Paka, that means bye. Da, yes, nien, no. Um, what are some other things that I say? Andalushka, Dubai. I'm like trying to say like what I would say to Aiden. It's weird because it's like unless I'm like in that moment, I can't really think of it. Oh, um, Hiroshi Malchik, that means good boy. Um, Harasho, that means good. Holodna, that means cold. Um, I know a lot more words, but those are just a few off the top of my head. Um, let's see. Jen asks, will you be taking Keys' Make-A-Wish trip soon? I hope so. <laughs> We're in the uh, planning stages right now. We're just waiting to hear back from our coordinator. Um, last I heard from her, it was like the beginning of October and she said it would be a few months um, before the coordinator contacted us. So I'm assuming the trip will definitely not be till like January, February. That's my guess. I have no idea though. I, it's not in my control either. So uh, Taylor asks, how's Aiden's rumination disorder doing so far? Has it decreased or increased? Um, I think it's decreased actually. Like I don't think it's as bad as it was a month ago. Um, the last three weeks, um, I haven't. He hasn't been like spitting it out or letting it fall out of his uh, mouth at all. Like when he regurgitates his food, which is amazing. Um, he's been putting on a lot more weight lately, which is amazing. I say a lot. Like probably like half a pound to a pound is probably what he's put on, but that's a lot. Like that's a significant amount of weight gain um, so I don't know but he goes through periods you guys it'll be really bad for a time and then it'll get somewhat better and then it'll be really bad it's like back and forth so it definitely still has to be dealt with um, let's see Nicole asked I know Aiden is tiny but how tiny where is his weight at what size clothes does he wear and what about Nard keys? Um, Aiden is pretty small. He's 10 and he's definitely smaller than Piper who is six. Um, clothing size, he's in a five, six right now. Um, and pants, he can still wear a four or five um, toddler size, but they're they're too short for him. Like they, the four or five fit him around the waist, but they're way too short because um, he's way too tall. Um, in terms of weight, I think he's approaching 49 pounds, so about 49, 48, 49 pounds. And what about Keys? Keys is kind of bulking up lately. He's in a size 9, 10, um, and he weighs close to like 62 pounds, um, which is really good <laughs> considering. He's still small for his age, but considering um, 62 pounds is pretty good. Let's see here. I hope this isn't so long. I'm gonna have to like edit a bunch of this out. Oh man, I have like three private messages asking questions too. <sighs> those okay Colleen asks or Colleen 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 I'm not sure which of this um, when you did Aiden's adoption video I was listening wait what when you did Aiden's adoption video I was listening for the story that you had told previously and I noticed that you did not mention the grandparents having Aiden and dropping him off at the orphanage. And previously you had said that that was the case. Why was that not mentioned? I was just curious. Um, yeah, actually, so, I don't know how to explain this. So when we adopted the boys, you get kind of like, as you're adopting, you get like bits of information. You get bits here, you get bits there. Um, you have the information that is in their file, like their file that is compiled by the government, um, by the social worker, that is their file that says this is their life from the beginning until now. And then you have what the orphanage director says and what the staff members say and what they tell you. Sometimes those things coincide, but sometimes they are not the same at all. And that was kind of the case with Aiden. Um, a lot of what the uh, orphanage director told us was the same as his file. Um, his birth date was totally different than the file. Um, and she had said that his grandparents had relinquished him to the orphanage. Um, and we don't know that that's true. That's kind of like hearsay. So when I made the adoption video, I went strictly by what I knew was fact. So I, I told the story based on his file, based on the file from the social worker, based on the file from the Ukrainian government um, that they had compiled. Um, because I know that to be as close to the facts as possible. Um, and I didn't wanna like make a video saying, oh, well his grandparents you know, loved him and brought him to the orphanage. When, while that may be the case, I have no idea, I wasn't there. Um, but 
it's kind of hearsay you know what i mean like there's no concrete evidence for me to necessarily believe that um but i don't know i don't know what happened um but that's one story that the orphanage director gave us and then we have his actual file so i just told the story based on his actual file Ooh, my goodness gracious you guys it's been a long day let's see here Alyssa asks, what are the children's favorite subjects in school? Um, Narkees, I think, loves working on the computer. I know he loves working on the computer. Um, and he loves art. And Zoe is definitely art. <laughs> art and math. Um, Piper, Piper never verbalizes a favorite subject to me, ever. <laughs> She just does not tell me about a favorite subject. I would probably guess math with Piper um, because she's really good in math. Um, and Aiden is probably just any type of sensory involvement. Um, and of course, Jack is too little to have a favorite subject in school. But when he does, I'll let you know. Let's see. Jessica asked, Kat, I followed you guys for a long time. I don't know the answer. Are the boys in mainstream school or special needs classes? What are the grades the kids are in? Um, the boys are in a mainstream school. Like, they're in just a regular public school, but they are in a contained special um, special needs classroom so yes they are in a special class and grades Narkees is in sixth Aiden is in fourth um, Zoe is in third Piper is in first and Jack is home with me because he's only a baby let's see here this is the last one I'm gonna do you guys I'm I am fading I'm fading quick um, ugh, what um, I'll answer both of these because I get this one all the time. Where would you be in your life if your life had gone differently and you hadn't had kids? This is from Amanda, by the way. Also, what is your favorite Nashville character? I love you guys. Thank you. You are so sweet. Um, where would you be in your life differently if you hadn't had kids? We would be traveling, I know. I know we'd be probably be traveling. I don't know. I probably would have like dabbled in like acting and stuff like that. I probably would not have been successful <laughs> in acting, but I would like to try. Um, I guess I still can, you know, I just, I just don't want to make the time for it right now in my life. Um, I don't know, probably just be married. I'd probably have a job and we'd travel and I don't know, be a lot more boring you guys i'll tell you that it would be way boring <laughs> um what is your favorite nashville character i love the show nashville you guys it's probably one of my favorite shows ever love that show so much um my favorite nashville character probably juliet barnes i love her dynamic i love how she is like on the verge of catastrophe one minute and she's suicidal and you know but then she totally pulls it all together and she changes and it just it really like shows people's ability to change and to you know be better people and you can always rise above your past and you can always change who you were and I just love that and I love her character so and her character is played by um Hayden Panettiere so I love her character anyway I like all the characters though Okay, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Hope you guys are all doing awesome. Don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up. Comment down below. Subscribe if you are new. And yeah, we would love for you to join the clan. And I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. And don't forget, always love to inspire. Bye, guys.